In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch on your Ryobi 132R string trimmer. I'll get started by removing the housing. The housing is secured with a series of screws. Now just slide the upper drive shaft and housing assembly away from the motor. Now I'll go ahead and pull the two-speed switch and the on-off switch away from the housing so we have access to the wire connections. Now I can remove the two-speed switch. Before I disconnect any wires, it's a good idea to make yourself a wiring diagram so you'll know how everything goes back together. Or what I like to do is just simply photograph all of the connections. Now I'll remove the two-speed switch. The red wire from the two-speed switch goes to the on-off switch. The on-off switch is what's called a trap door switch. To remove the wires from this type of switch, you insert a pick next to the wire, and then the wire will pull away from the switch. Now remove the on-off switch. With the trapdoor switch, I'll insert a pick next to the wire and then pull the wire away. Now reinstall the on-off switch using the wiring diagram or the pictures that I took earlier as a reference. Now I'll install the switches and wiring back into the housings. First I'll place the trigger into the housing. Then I'll line up the on-off switch with the trigger and slide it into the housing. The two-speed switch goes underneath the tube. And sits into a couple of notches on the housing. Then I'll take a moment to tuck the wires down into the housing so they don't get pinched when we install the other half of the housing. Now I'll reinstall the other half of the housing assembly. I want to take one last check and make sure that all of the wires are out of the way so nothing gets pinched when I slide the two halves together. I want to make sure everything lines up, don't force anything. And once you have everything aligned, go ahead and fasten it with the screws.